Hey guys, I'm here to save you. Uh, a lot of people have been uh, commenting that they can't find out how to do this, how they, how they actually import the, uh, the effects in the first place. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so go to my video info on, the, on this video. Tutorial iMovie HD 6 using blue screen and crop. Uh, first, I guess we'll do the crop download because it's on top. You just click the link that I have right there. On the left hand side, click matting slash compose composing, I guess slash PIP. And from there there's a button that says crop. So go to that and click download. It'll start automatically. And uh meanwhile we can also download the other one. Go back to my video and click uh blue screen. It'll say uh stupendous software, the website. If you look right here, there's a button that says demo. You want to click that and uh, then click where it says click here if the demo doesn't start automatically, but it should. And as you can see, it's actually starting automatically. All right. So it's enough windows, isn't it? Uh, all right. So I'll start with the, uh, the crop effect. So what you want to do is you want to click the crop installer. This should come up automatically. Click open. And just it'll guide through you through the installing process. You click continue, install, and then agree to the software agreement. It'll say it's success, successfully installed, and you quit. Um, once that's done, open up new Finder window. Go to your go to your uh, your username. Mine's Josh. It's right here on the left hand side. And go to your library. From there, go into the folder that says iMovie. And if there isn't one, then you can just create a new folder by going to File, New Folder, um, and label it iMovie. So go into that, and then there's a folder called Plugins. What you want to do is uh, when you downloaded the crop effect, you got a folder called CFX, which you can see right here. If you can't find it, then just type in CFX in your spotlight thing right here, as you can see. So what you want to do is you you want to drag the CFX folder into your iMovie plugins folder. So as you can see, I already did that, and that's right there. Once you do that, you can quit iMovie and restart it, and your crop effect will be there. Uh, so that's that. So now you've got your crop effect. All right, next I download the max masks and compositing effect from that stupendous software site. So I'm gonna go to my downloads folder. As you can see, here's the folder right here. Um, with it comes a uh, readme, a readme sheet called readme demo, which you really need to do because that's that tells you how to install it. So it says uh, quit iMovie if it's open. Yeah, while you're doing this, you should have iMovie down. So when you reopen it, the uh, effects are actually seen. Um, so find the, uh, the you go to the library as I said, and uh, if you don't have an iMovie folder in that library, then you create one. If you do, open it up. Then if you don't have a plugins folder in there, create one. If you have one, then you're set. What you want to do is you you want to drag the uh, OS 10 iMovie 6 folder, this one right here. You want to drag that into your plugins folder. And as you can see, I also I also did that. Um, so once you have that, and you drag that in, you should be able to just open up iMovie. And uh, the effect should be there. If not, then uh, leave me a comment. We'll see what's going wrong. But if you did what I said, then it should be there. So let's look. There we go. There's the crop effect. And uh, if you look down here, here's the blue screen effect. A lot of people say that they're getting watermarks on the blue screen effect. Uh, they're probably using the wrong one. Um, a lot of these are demos, which means they will have the watermark effect. But if you look at the very bottom, near the second one towards the bottom, it says SS Blue Screen. That's the one you want to use, the SS Blue Screen. Uh, I hope this helped. If you have any more questions, just uh, shoot me a message or a comment. I'll respond as quickly as I can. Thanks. Bye.